greetings. It's Debbie from healingfrombpd.org. It is the 4th of July here, Independence Day in the United States. I'm sitting here enjoying a mochi. It's like a little ice cream, Japanese style ice cream that's inside. I think it's a rice paper type of wrap. You guys let me know if you know out there and some powdered sugar on it. Uh, and I'm enjoying every bite. And I'll tell you why I'm including this in the video in just a moment. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back and so why was I eating a mochi ice cream in front of you? <laughs> it's a little treat I decided to have for myself. And I have noticed a lot with in my own life and with others recently especially, but always really, a tendency to do a lot of judging. And where that really, where does that come from when you think about it? The types of judgments that we have about ourselves and about others. Do you ever stop and think about where those judgments come from? And thinking about whether those are our beliefs really or the things we really feel about ourselves and other people or if they are things that we have learned over time or have been told or have been imposed upon us. So this video really is just a real quick video to just get us thinking and considering and looking at and reflecting on our thoughts because as I tweeted from one of my Twitter accounts, I'll put it down there, this morning, not all thoughts are true. And some thoughts come as a distraction to dealing with real things. And some thoughts come as old tapes or recordings um, or messages. Tapes is a really old one for some of you younger people. Cassette tapes, I don't even know if you guys know what those are. <laughs> but um, I had them when I was a kid, before CDs were even thought of. Uh, anyway, so the thought about behind all of this is to start looking at, considering, and thinking about when you have thoughts, just noticing them, not always accepting them at face value, especially the upsetting thoughts or the thoughts that feel triggering or the thoughts that are highly judgmental of yourself or others. Just taking a pause and noticing the thought and thinking about where it comes from, is it really in alignment with who you are as a person? And is it really true? Is it, does it have any merit? And then going from there. Because I know that a lot of us who are emotionally sensitive will sometimes have a thought, and especially if it's an upsetting thought or just like a weird thought or a scary thought, whatever, we'll go right from having that thought to jumping to a conclusion and catastrophizing and maybe freaking out and you know, then maybe having behaviors that we don't really want to do. So the idea behind this mindfulness practice is to just go ahead and notice the thought and then sit with it and ask those questions that I asked a bit earlier about where it comes from, is it really mine, is it true, that sort of thing, and then act after you've given some time and space in terms of deciding what you can do as far as an action that is in alignment with your highest good and feeling well and taking care of yourself and being kind to yourself and others. So. That's my little tidbit today. I hope it was helpful. And this is the type of stuff you learn in dialectical behavior therapy, but it's also the type of stuff you can learn around, um, out and about and around in the world with people who are trying to live more consciously and trying to be kinder to themselves and to others. And it's in a lot of different philosophies and a lot of different spiritual practices. So you can get this from a lot of different directions and integrate it into your life. I hope this was helpful. I am thinking about having another one of those mochis that maybe I'll wait until tomorrow, not because of being judgmental, just because I want to be a little bit healthy. So thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video or over at the blog.